Okay, so first of all, I'm going to search for US presidents, birth, death, terms, dates, and enter. And I'm going to click on this web page here. And you can see that we end up with a table with all of the information that we need. I'm going to click in the bar at the top and then copy this URL. Then go to a blank Excel spreadsheet and go to data. And we're going to make a query using data from the web page. I'm going to paste in the URL that I just copied and OK. And then it will take a second while it accesses the web page. Then I need to tell it which table I want it to use. So I'm going to select table one and then we'll click on transform data. And this will open up the Power Query Editor. And now I can make changes to this table. So I'll start by deleting the columns that I don't want. And then for the date of birth, I only really want the year. So I'll go to the Transform tab and then I'll extract the last characters. And I want the last four numbers and OK. And this gets me the year that they were born. It's still reading this as text, so I'll change this to a whole number. And then for the terms, I'm going to split this column by delimiter. And it's already found the dash in there, so I'll just click OK. But there's a problem with this. Some of the years are split with a shorter dash. So I'm going to click on this here and make a copy of the longer dash. Then I will click on the previous step and we're going to replace values. It will ask me if I'm sure I want to insert a step and I do. So I'm going to click insert. Then in the value to find box, I'll put a short dash. And in the replace with box, I'll paste in the long dash that I just copied. So we're replacing all of the shorter dashes with longer dashes and OK. And then if I go to the last step, you'll see that they've all been split correctly this time. The first term here is still being read as text, so I'll change this to a whole number. And it asks me if I want to replace the current column type, and I do. Then I'm going to select the term two column here, and I'm going to add a column. And this is going to be a standard, and then subtract. Then for the value, I'm going to use values in a column, and that column is going to be term one. So I'm taking the year in term two, and I'm subtracting the year in term one. And this will give me the number of years that person was president for. And OK. And you'll see most of these are eight years and four years. I no longer need the term two column, so I can delete that. Then I'll take term one and move it to the side so it's next to subtraction. Then I'll rename some of these. So I'll change age at death to lifetime. Term one is going to become the start of the term. And then subtraction is going to become presidential term. Then we need to fix the values at the bottom. So Joe Biden has null because he's still president. So I'll go back to the transform tab and replace values and I'll replace null with four and OK. And that fixes that. Then for all of the presidents that are still alive, we get a null value in the lifetime column. To fix that, I'm going to do replace values again. And in the value to find, I'll put null. And in the replace with box, I'm just going to put the number one for now and OK. 
And now you'll see that they've all changed to one at the bottom. And now we have this here at the top where we're taking all of the null values and we're replacing them with one. And I can change this one here and I'm going to replace it with each 2024 minus in square brackets born. So born is the name of this column here, which has the year that they were born. And of course, if I take 2024 and subtract the year that they were born, I'll end up with how old they are. And the each part here tells it to go through each row at a time. So if I press enter on this now, the lifetimes of the presidents at the bottom change. Now that I have the table set up the way that I want it, I'm going to go to home and close and load in order to get my table into Excel. Then I will select the first three columns and go to insert and I'm going to insert a chart and it's going to be a 2D stacked bar chart. Then we need to do lots of formatting to this. So I'll start by double clicking on the bars to open up the formatting pane and I'll change the gap width to just 10% to make the bars wider. Now the blue bars here are the year that the presidents were born and I'm going to change this so that it has no fill. Then the orange bar here is how long the presidents lived for and I'm going to change this to green. Then I'll also give it a border which will be a black line and then I'll make that line nice and thin. Then I'll add in some data labels. So we'll go to data labels here and then instead of showing their age, I want it to show the category name, which is gonna be the name of the president. Then I need to make this text smaller so we can actually read it. And while I'm here, I'll also change all of the text in the chart to black. And then I'll go to the corner here and change it to show just the tabs so that we have a bit more room to see the chart. And I still want the data labels here to be a smaller font. Then I need to fix the axes at the bottom. So I'll change the axes minimum to be 1700 and the axes maximum to be 2024. Then I want to take the last two columns in the table and I'll copy these and then paste them into the chart. And I'll select the dark green lines here and then we'll move these to the secondary axes. Then I'll select the blue bars and move those to the secondary axes as well. Then I need to take the secondary axes and change the maximum and minimum so it matches the primary axes. So this needs to be 1700 again and then 2024. And now they're lining up, so I'll take the dark green bars and I'll change the fill here to no fill. And those bars are the year that the person became president. Then I'll take the blue bars here, which is how long they were president for, and I'll change that to a dark green. And so now we have the light green bars showing the lifetime of the president, and then the dark green bars showing the period for when they were actually president. Now we're going to do a bunch more formatting to this chart. So I would like for George Washington to be at the top. So I'll go to axes options and change it to categories in reverse order. Of course, the green bars are now no longer matching. So we'll add in an axis for the secondary vertical axis. Then I need to flip this one as well. So categories in reverse order again. And now they're lining up. I don't want the axes on either side because I already have the names in the middle, so I'm going to delete those. Then I'll add in some grid lines. So I'll add in a major horizontal and minor vertical. Then let's sort out the axes at the top and the bottom. So at the top, I want the major unit to be 100 and the minor unit to be 5. 
and at the bottom I want the major unit to be 25. So we'll have more numbers at the bottom. Then let's change the color of these lines. So I'll make it black and also make it thinner. And then at the top, I also want it to be black and 0.5. Then I want to give this tick marks. So we'll change this here to be outside. Then we'll give the plot area a border as well and we'll make this black and make it 0.5 and then at the moment the whole chart has a grey border so I'll get rid of that by changing it to no line and then I should give this a title so we'll make this US President's Timeline and then I will make the font bold and also we'll make the axes bold as well and the legend then let's change the grid lines so we'll take the major horizontal grid lines and I'm going to make these a darker gray so it's easier to see every 100 years then we just have the legend left to format so I'll change this so it's overlapping the chart and put it in the top right corner then I can delete the part for born and for start term because I only want lifetime and presidential term and we'll change this here to be white and we'll give it a black border and maybe make it a little bit bigger okay and now I think I'm actually happy with the way that looks so in this video I have shown you how to make a US president's timeline in Excel and that is everything.